What's going on, everybody? I'm going to be going over two terms that you may have heard about, lactose and lactase. I'm going to be showing you guys the difference. I'm going to show you how it all fits together. And of course, I'm going to be going over a super cool experiment with you. Okay, so here are the two words, lactase and lactose. At first glance, they look practically the same. Lactase ends in ASE, lactose ends in OSE. Well, lactose, OSE, has to do with a sugar. Many sugars end in OSE. As a matter of fact, lactose is a pretty simple sugar. It is a disaccharide, meaning it's made of, of two building blocks, two monomers. It's made up of a glucose molecule and a galactose molecule. And I said somewhat simple simple because it can get even simpler if it gets broken down into glucose and galactose. Well, look above. Lactase is an enzyme. As a matter of fact, most enzymes end in ASE. That's the hint. And the prefix lact is going to describe what it acts upon. So it will be acting upon lactose. Enzymes in general are going to have a very specific shape for a very specific molecule, like this lactase molecule is going to have an active site that looks like it fits perfectly into the uh, lactose in order to break it down. Now, I will mention that all enzymes are going to be made of protein. They're going to be folded into a very specific shape, and this lactase enzyme is extremely specific only to attach to lactose and no other molecule. And it, of course, will digest it into the two components, glucose and galactose. If you look up to the left right here, I just showed you where it started so you could see that lactose was a disaccharide. Now, if you cannot break them down into glucose and galactose, guess what? This lactose is not going to penetrate the walls of the intestines to come out from the digestive system and get into the bloodstream. So the person who cannot digest this is going to have serious problems with stomach cramps, belly aches, even diarrhea. Okay. So, as a matter of fact, if you have not seen the video by HHMI called Got Lactase, you should definitely check it out. I'm posting it in the description right now. You should check that out. And it does a great job explaining the worldwide difference between people that are lactose tolerant and people that are lactose intolerant. As a matter of fact, most people in the world are lactose intolerant. Most people uh, are going to not be able to digest lactose because they do not produce the enzyme lactase past childhood. During childhood, everyone can digest lactose. It's just a matter if it persists or not. Only about one third of the world's population are considered lactose persistent. They are lactose tolerant, in other words, because they can digest lactose into its components, glucose and galactose. So if you want some ice cream, or if you want some cheese, you're going to have to take a pill. The pill is going to be lactate is the common name. And if you look closely at the lactate, you're going to see it actually has lactase enzyme in it. So it is time for an experiment, guys. So let's do this. Here's lactate. If you've ever noticed, you've probably heard about this before, but you may have not noticed that it is an enzyme. Look, lactase enzyme. And it's if you want to get that delicious bowl of ice cream right there. Okay, so how are we going to know whether or not the lactose is being digested into the smaller components of glucose and galactose. Well, there's a super easy way to test for glucose levels. This is a glucose test strip. This is, in other words, known as a urine test strip. It's what they use to test urine in the doctor's office to test for the glucose levels. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to show you vials of urine or anything. We're going to be using milk to test out to see if the lactose is digested. So on the right here, this is what a glucose test strip looks like out of the container. You can see that it is green. It is going to remain that color if glucose is absent, but it's going to change to a darker color if it's positive for glucose. And it has values. The values are milligrams per deciliter milligrams of glucose, that is. So you take out a packet, and this is called lactase. Fast act 
it is pretty fast, I have to say. You'll see in a second. Uh, we only used half a tablet in each experiment. So what do we have here? First thing first, we have water and lactase. This is going to make sure that the enzyme does not contain any glucose. So we want to test, uh, we want to test to see, we're testing for glucose. We want to make sure that there's no sugar in the pill, which sometimes there is in certain pills. Okay, next we're going to do is we're going to test milk. Milk contains the Whenever you see milk, it's going to be containing the sugar, lactose, the disaccharide. So plain milk, no lactase, just to get a baseline to see if there's any glucose present in the milk. Number three, we're going to have milk and lactase, the enzyme. Hopefully, we will see that we can use the enzyme lactase to attach to the lactose in the milk and thereby breaking it down into the two parts glucose and galactose. Fourth one, we're going to have milk and lactase, except what we're going to do is we're going to boil the lactase before uh, it, with the milk before we allow it to uh, proceed. But first, why don't we take a look and see what glucose looks like when it's being tested positive on the glucose test strips. So here is a bottle of glucose. Another uh, common name for glucose is going to be corn sugar or sometimes corn syrup. Uh, if you're think it's not sucrose, sucrose is a disaccharide. Glucose is a very simple monosaccharide. So if we mix a little glucose with water, dip a glucose test strip in, this is what we get. On the bottom right here, this is the glucose test strip out of the container. After we dip it in the solution of glucose mixed with the water, we see it definitely changed from the negative and became positive. What I want you guys to do is I want you to use your eye and you make the judgment. It's you see how concentrated this glucose is. Again, it's milligrams per deciliter of glucose solution. Okay, so here's the experiment. That glucose in the water right here, it's a basis of comparison. So whenever we do an experiment, we need a basis of comparison. There's actually two types of controls. There's a positive control and a negative control. A positive control is a control that you compare where you expect it to change. So as you're comparing it to a known change. Glucose in the water is considered a positive control. Number one and number two are negative controls because we don't really expect anything to change. As a matter of fact, we want to see if at all or any there's glucose in the solution to get sort of a baseline color. And as you can see, with the water and the lactose and also just milk, it remains negative. So whew, there is no glucose present. So this way, any change that we do see is going to be solely due to the lactase enzyme digesting the lactose. So in number three, we got milk plus lactase, the enzyme, and it clearly turns it dark. As a matter of fact, this is only just after five minutes of sitting. So you can see it's starting to turn it dark right there. Even after I took this picture, it actually diffused up high right here and did the whole thing about that color right there. So what I want you guys to do is you guys look right here and you can determine for yourself what is the level of milligrams of glucose per deciliter that got broken down in the lactose. But look right here, guys. This right here is the milk and the lactase, same as number three, except it is boiled. It is negative as if nothing happened. And that's right, guys, nothing did happen. So boiling is 100 degrees Celsius, and lactase is an enzyme, and enzymes are made of protein. So here's the lactase enzyme. It actually has a very specific shape that's folded to fit on top of the lactose. But if you heat up proteins too high, what happens? It actually changes shape. It becomes denatured. So this is totally not even going to come close to fitting on the lactose. Therefore, the lactose is as if there was no enzyme present because the enzyme is denatured. So pretty cool experiment, right, guys? So uh, I shall talk to you guys next time, and I hope you guys got something out of this and now understand the difference between lactose and lactase and how it fits together.